Whitefish Chain of Lakes is one of the most popular boating areas in the state. Just beautiful. So it's no surprise that three of our five finalists for Minnesota's best dockside bar are there. But only one could be declared the winner, of course. And by the narrowest of margins this week, you sent Amelia Santanello to the Manhattan Beach Lodge in Cross Lake. Recently, there was a study published that confirmed people who live near water have less stress and live more enjoyable lives. This has been the best day ever. ever, ever. <laughs> now, we're not sure what that study cost, but there is no doubt they might have saved a buck or two had they just gone straight to Manhattan Beach Lodge in Cross Lake. I am having a hell of a hair day here. But. <laughs> and for the price of a drink, they could have gotten all the answers from Daryl, the bartender. But there's something special about being a dockside bar, don't you think? Yes, it's, it, it will put everybody in a mood. I mean, how do you, when the, when the breeze is blowing right around 78 degrees, you can pretend it's a little more tropical in Minnesota and come down and just chill out and relax with us. And that's just what people have been doing here at Manhattan Beach Lodge since 1929. In fact, the little, what we call the haunted shed was one of the original cabins that was built on the point. And now we have 19 rooms here, and yeah, it's just a really special spot. Owners Kista Brunkhorst and her husband Jason work hard to keep it special through innovation. How long has the Tiki Bar been here? Tiki Bar has been here probably about 10 years. It was an old bait and gas area. Look at this. You guys are packed. It's a Tuesday afternoon. Yes. Tiki has its own crowd. We call them the Tiki Crew. <laughs> <laughs> Only a seasoned mixologist like Daryl can keep the tiki crew satisfied or in stitches. If you like light and fruity, we can do that. If you want to uh, knee walk a little bit, we can do that too. <laughs> can I say that? Oh, <laughs> oh good. Was it, that, that was a joke, officer. <laughs> If you bring your appetite, Manhattan Beach has great indoor and outdoor dining areas and a menu that can only be outdone by the food itself. This is a, basically a collection of uh, Manhattan's more popular dishes. Our wildlife forest a new addition oh. to our menu. This is our paella, of course. We kind of keep it pretty traditional, saffron rice, uh, plenty of seafood and different meats. And of course, uh, one of our most popular dishes here are Cajun steak bites with uh, grilled crostinis and just a nice mellow Cajun cream sauce to tie it all together. In case you didn't know, this means it's good. The next time you're cruising the Whitefish Chain, set a course for Manhattan Beach Lodge. And if you have any trouble finding it, just look for Daryl's shirt. When you start out with no taste, you just go from there. <laughs> from Manhattan Beach Lodge, and we are the best outside bar in Minnesota! I think Daryl's worth the trip. Absolutely. They sure do know how to have fun there, don't they? We haven't seen Amelia since that day. Yeah. There's no <laughs> right. reason to leave. Uh, Moonlight Bay and The Wharf were, were also, also nominated and close... Uh, Close second. Yeah, it sounded like it was a, a close race. And next Wednesday at 10, we're going to reveal your choice for the best amphitheater in Minnesota.